real estate agent with Keller Williams Success Realty here in the Panama City area. And today I'm going to do a video on the Hurricane Michael uh, Recovery Loan Program. And I'm very excited about this program because this is the first of its kind. We've never seen a program like this. And it is on a first come, first serve basis. So once the money runs out, the program will end. So with that being said, let's go ahead and discuss the details of this program and why it's so exciting. So the Hurricane Michael Recovery Loan Program provides for a low 30-year fixed interest mortgage along with up to $15,000 in closing cost assistance and down payment assistance. And this is exciting because as a buyer, you don't have to come to the closing table with thousands and thousands of dollars to buy a new home. So the funding is targeted specifically for the following 11 Hurricane Michael impacted counties, and that includes Bay, Calhoun, Franklin, Gadsden, Gulf, Holmes, Jackson, Liberty, Taylor, Wakulla, and Washington counties. Had to read off my list. I couldn't remember all 11. Um, you do not have to be a first-time home buyer in order to qualify for this program. However, the home that you purchase needs to be owner-occupied. Also, the down payment assistance loan cannot be used as a standalone. It has to be used in conjunction with one of the Florida Housing Home Buyer Loan Program first mortgage products. That's a mouthful, but that also includes VA loans. Um, this program can be used to purchase townhomes, it can existing homes, new construction, modular homes, condos that are warrantable. However, it cannot be used for uh, construction loans or to purchase mobile homes. Um, the home that you purchase needs to be your primary residence for at least five years. The down payment assistance loan is 0% interest and it's forgivable um, up to 20% over a period of five years. So, for instance, let's say that you did use the 15000 limit for the down payment assistance and you had to sell your home after four years. You would then owe the state of Florida 20% of that, which would be $3,000. There's one exception to this rule, and that is if you are an active, um, active duty service person and you are officially reassigned and you have to sell your home within that five-year window, you are forgiven and you, you do not have to pay the closing costs that, that you borrowed. Um, an important issue to note is that if the appraisal falls short, meaning that the home does not appraise for the loan amount, the down payment assistant funding cannot go towards the difference between the appraised value and the loan amount. It can still go towards the closing costs and the down payment assistance, but not the difference between the loan amount and the appraised value. Also, there is a 91,000 annual income limit um, but let's say if you're married and your joint income is greater than 91,000, that's okay as long as one of the adults living in your household um, makes less than 91,000 a year and can still qualify for one of the 30 year fixed interest rate mortgages. Um, so in order to qualify the, for this program, you, know, you, you still need to be able to qualify for one of the 30-year fixed interest rate mortgages. And there are currently two lenders in the area that are participating in this program and are writing these types of loans. So the best way to find out whether or not you qualify is to get in touch with them. Um, so if you'd like some more information, just shoot me a quick email, direct message me. I'll be happy to send you some lender contact information and discuss your, your future real estate plans. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. See you in the next one.